Hi folks and welcome to another episode and today I will be giving you a 40,000 mile update on our oldest MG5. Now if you think you're going to be seeing a video of an electric car that's done 40,000 miles in nine months and now it's dead, that is not happening so you might want to skip on to another video but thank you for the view. Okay I've got it stripped down, I've got one of the brakes stripped off, one of the wheels stripped off and I've got the brake pads out so you can have a look at it so let's go through. Please remember to check out our other videos and click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you get notifications each time we upload another video. Okay, first things first, I've already stripped these out. So these are the front pads. Um, I've brake cleaned them and wire brushed them a little bit, but they are quite literally like brand new. So that's pretty reassuring. That's the inner pad. And that's the outer pad both absolutely nowhere at all on that so that's good uh, if we look at the disc as well there's no lip on there uh, and there's no lip on the other side um, I've gone around with a bar and checked all the steering joints and um, bottom ball joints and stuff like that and everything's groovy so that's good so let's come around and have a look at the tire so if I just like that and down we are so that's that's at about two mil if you can see that so not bad 41,000 miles and two mil so they'll be going soon I mean this is the heaviest worn tire near side front so quite impressed by these I will be replacing them with Bridgestones they're not the quietest tire but in terms of longevity I think these are one of the best now you may remember that I fitted this and it's literally just resting in there um, and it's still resting in there it's normally got a set of Tesla discs in there as well, but they've been used actually the other day. But it's still in there. It's nothing. It's nothing special. It's just resting on the inverted motor um, and this little bit of plastic trim at the front. Forty thousand miles, and it's still there. I mean, that does it for me. Okay, original wiper blades. These are the original blades. Forty thousand miles. Absolutely nothing wrong with them. They are Bosch as standard, so you expect them to be pretty good. The pollen filter has been changed twice. Uh, we work in and out of London a lot, so we like to keep the um, the air in the car the best we can. We've actually upgraded it with a carbon pollen filter uh, just to give a little bit of extra protection because some of the places we do go to have pretty bad air quality. On another note, I service quite a few of these as taxis in and around Scotland. Uh, some of them are quite high mileage, uh, more than Smithies in fact. Uh, and they're, they're running really well. So this is a real good testament to what you can expect if you've got an MG5, which if you have, I'd be really interested to know uh, what mileage you're on, how you're finding it, and if you love it like I love it, because I, I, I can't be the only one who feels the way about this car and its reliability and the way it drives, the way the tires don't wear out, the brakes don't wear out, the wipers don't wear out. I can't be the only person experiencing this and thinking, this is amazing. Just going to show you inside now. You'll be pleased to know none of the doors have fallen off or anything like that. If we show you just through the steering wheel, you might be able to see that mileage there, 40,785. Uh, the wear on the steering wheel, really good. Uh, it's a Volkswagen steering wheel, so let's be honest, you expect that. Um, the seats have obviously got seat covers on, but if I pull this up, there's the bolster, seat base, squab. I mean, nothing. So that's good. Nothing is broken. Nothing is worn out. Um, the only thing we have got is um, got a little bit of a squeaky mirror on this side. This mirror, when it winds in, sometimes squeaks, certainly in the hot weather. But uh, yeah, apart from that, everything is good up front. So round to the back. So this is, if you remember, we had all this racking fitted. It's all still well in check, uh, but the sort of weight that we're carrying, uh, I'm really surprised that maybe it hasn't knocked out a rear shocker or something like that, but no, it's not It's not done anything. It still drives absolutely like brand new. And I'm gonna say it, I think that is the best EV you can buy for the money at the moment. I don't think anything, there's better cars for certain things. Some things are quicker, some things have got a better range, bigger batteries, faster charging, but nothing does everything this does for that price. Now, we had a little conversation about when we're gonna sell this and move it on. Um, obviously, we want something that's reliable, and when we start getting to hundreds of thousands of miles, everything gets unreliable at some point. Um, and the warranty runs out at 80,000, so 
I've suggested, uh, David suggested that we sold it at 70. Uh, so we can sell it with some warranty and that gives the next buyer some confidence in the vehicle. But actually Matt turned around and said, actually if nobody, if we can't fix it, then you know we're in the wrong job. So we're actually gonna keep it and we're gonna run it and run it and run it and run it until it falls apart. Um, and I, I don't think it will. I, I think we're gonna be really surprised I think that this will be a 150,000, 200,000 mile car and it will still be going. We will see, but 40,000 miles, nine months, that's way over the average. The average for a year is 7,200, I think at the moment. And this is kicking that well into touch. So bloody good tool that, really good, really impressed. I love it. I am a fanboy. It drives absolutely perfectly. Every time I drive the MG5, I think to myself, why have I got a Tesla Model 3 that drives like a skeleton in a biscuit tin? That is the truth. And I'm not slating the car, but you know mine's not been, it's not been the best. So, go and buy one folks if you can get one, but it will not let you down. It will just keep going and you will love it. I think folks, it's fair to say that this is the best vehicle I've ever owned or part owned because it belongs to Smithy and Matt and Claire and David and Kate. We've all got a bit, but honestly, if you own one, brilliant, and you're gonna love it, it's gonna look after you, but absolutely fantastic. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there, folks. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and follow us on Twitter, at Kate Phantom, and I'll see you soon in another episode. So, bye for now.